kwa serious ya yeah, ilikuwa serious honestly juu sawa after tuka lose bnb tuka lose mtu hii stress ikakuwa mob hatuna hatuna kidogo kabla tufike hapo kwa ab so kuna dia huwa anafanya workout kwa hao akaanza kuona kuna ma vitu zinamtoka machiki na ilikuwa ni damu damu Nicholas Kiyoko ni kijana wa usongo Nicholas Kiyoko ile kipindi A lot more is coming back. Hello hello na karibu sana to my YouTube channel manzeka moja subscribe please consider subscribing because a lot more is coming. Beki unanjua introduction yangu vizuri sana. <laughs> I don't know why every time niki niki nikifanya intro yangu kila mtu huwa enjoy too but haki ni majali wa yake Mwenyezi Mungu na kila siku namshukuru sana. Na I'm so happy to meet you guys for the second time. Yes. The last time tulikutana hatukuweza kupiga interview yetu mm-hmm. but chance imekamu, si ndio? Yes. Mkoaje? Tuko salama kabisa. Mhm. Eh eh tuko poa sana. Mm-hmm. Nataka tupige story na nyinyi mm-hmm. na pale baadaye mwisho kabisa tukimaliza mm-hmm. niko na makaratasi mbili hapa. Guys kama mjajua kuna show to introduce kwa channel yangu inaitwa itakuwa inakuja after every interview pale mwisho kutakuwa na segment inaitwa ukweli mtupu. Tutaenda kujua ukweli mtupu kwa hizi. Cha kwanza niziweke hapa chini. Tutajua ukweli mtupu baadaye. Mko poa lakini kabisa kabisa? Kabisa. Yes, Amwezi complain. Mm. Okay. Uh, you guys we understand you are a couple. Na kwa wale amjui they are called some family I'm looking forward kujua majina zao kamili. Huyu ndio unajua ni Becky. <laughs> Juni <Juni-dem. laughs> Dem. Wazidi chukule ba bro sina ubavi. So um ebu mjifanye introduction sasa venye nyu fanya sasa. Okay, I'm Becky Austin, you can call me Becky or Austin. And I'm James Magalo, but you can call me Sama. And here the Sama's family. Yeah, the Sama family. <laughs> And I'm Nicolas Kyoko, you can call me kijana wa Nsongo. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, uh, nataka tupige tu story kidogo because umekuwa um, mkidate for quite some time. Kwa yeah. time ilikuja mkapotea kwa mtandao. I wanna know what happened. Mm-hmm. Kidogo kidogo kuna story nyingine fulani nilisikia mlipoteza biashara. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to kujua what happened, mm-hmm. si ndio? Mm-hmm. But wacha tuanze. You guys are dating. Mm-hmm. Muli meet a jama muli meet lini. Okay, to limit 3rd of September 2020. Yeye tamia corona. So nili mo approach nikamdanganya like okay ulidanganya aje aliniambia ti yeye ni developer anafanya stuff na movie kuna app fulani anataka nione kumbe yeye alikuwa anajaribu aone venye atanyongelesha apate namba yangu mimi ni nani CG sasa nikamwambia niko busy acha nikupe namba yangu tuongea kumbe nimepea kijana jackpot ah kijana ali win jackpot siku ya kwanza after hapo Okay. I make the first move. Eh uh, mimi ndo make the first move. Mm-hmm. Yeah like nikamwambia I love you after before to go like tunaongea. Juni kwa na mtexting ya asubuhi morning ange ni jibu 6. Na check. Ako ona mtext asubuhi ana kusudi jibu 6 ya jioni. Yeah so ningeambia good morning ange ni jibu ko 6 in the PM. Yeah. Huh? So no joa mimi siku siku choka kwa na joa tunataka kwa na push. Na check. Wewe pia ana jaze. Unajua sisi ya apologies juu it was maybe too many test time as it test. Juu wizi rush ni. It was you playing hard to get. Yes. Then after five days nakamwambia I love you na cheki. So ye akunijibu alinitumia tu emoji. Na emoji alikuwa mimi tu. Emoji ya kwa mimi tu mimi for me ilikuwa ni like. Nikamshotunakupenda. <laughs> 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 At that moment it pata kancha ncha toji nake from Becky nikeka mine. Na hata yeah, na hiyo hata atujanza hata ku date. Hata aje nipatia chance. Yeah. Becky alikuwa mtoto wa kisongo hivi. I understand. Ulikuwa wapi huko? 
kitengela kitengela na beki alikuwa mtoto wa kisongo kuna story fulani nilishare na online eh? yeah. alikuwa mtoto wa kisongo how was it kuchukua mtu hii uh, i mean dem uh, ametoka tabaka iko juu kumleta ghetto ilikuwa hard juu imagine mtu like kuna chiki brokomo na shida wazi chagua food na teki like wa komo na shida wazi chagua food so like mi niliangalia kumtoa ile place kumpeleka ghetto at first niliangalia security security ilikuwa chini mbaya like watu wako na uliolio wana dongo na visu kitengela ah yeah. kabiri asancha mtoa kitengela nikampeleka ghetto mm. okay hiyo time ulikuwa na shikabiria so like nilikuwa nasomea huko eh PC Kinyanjui so distance ya PC Kinyanjui to place na car yeah so eh hiyo PC Kinyanjui ilikuwa kabiria yeah so nilikuwa naishi hapo nje so ilikuwa ni place nye watu watu, watu wanauliwa tu unazika tu kijana fulani alichinjwa so imagine unampeleka huko at that moment pipi anaogopa ndo the first time nakaa huko unacheki so ye yeah, yeah, alikubali vile alikuwa alinikubali vile nilikuwa na akaenda akakubali tuteseke so ningempeleka huko alishakubali like okay itabidi tu nime yeah ulikuwa mnashua ngapi hiyo time mlikuwa mnashitu wewe na yeye peke yake no 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 tuliostiwa <laughs> 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 tuliostiwa okay the first time tukitoka kitengela mimi i never knew madi tunapeleka bora tu tuende bora niko na yeye so tukaenda kwa kingia ghetto ghetto unajua ni new change unaingizo ingizo huko <laughs> so ni gorofa but ni mabati mm-hmm. na tulikuwa tunaishi wavulana mliko yeah, yeah plus wavulana wawili then mimi waine so yeah, was the only girl hapo single room single room yeah. <laughs> room moja kadogo kadogo na iko na beds mbili so spacing bag ni ya kitchen ya kupika tu so mangu <laughs> tunaeka chini ya bed Mm-hmm. No na bed pia like imeenda ika flat ikakuja hapa katikati kukutana hapa katikati unaelewa mm-hmm. so tuseme utalala iko na begi tutakuja tupatane huko katikati oh, usikata hiyo iko advantage kwako <laughs> <laughs> ilikuwa advantage kubwa zaidi ilikuwa advantage eh hey, juza uko pia okay, like, kwambia uangalie uko naye angalie uko mshoo mtapatana wapi katikati <laughs> <laughs> so kulikuwa la okay mchana kulikuwa na joto mm-hmm. usiku baridi baridi so like imagine oh, you guys nasikia baridi na mkoa wili bro hiyo 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 plus asubuhi na jo mabati hiyo climate ndani oh, yeah. so tukwa tunatoa tungo tunakaa tu kwa nyumba kwa nyumba natoa nguo uchi mnaka kwa nyumba mnaka tu kwa nyumba ilikuwa hard sana mm-hmm. mshakutana msha shapele kwa ghetto mm-hmm. mshaanza kukula <laughs> na <laughs> na <laughs> ilifika aje mkaamua you know what let's start a, a couple channel mm-hmm. na how long did it take nyi kuanza channel mm-hmm. na mlikuwa what was the idea yani ilianza aje okay ilianza kama mchezo because youtube you are not in for youtube tulikuwa tunaona tu kinazazi ya Maroko. So tulikuwa tumekaa kwa nyumba date 14th, kwa Valentine's we had nothing to do to come uh, to fungwe channel simply because mabesti walikuwa nasema si mfungwe couple channel juu. Wanaona hizi video random tunapost tu kwa WhatsApp. Tukasema eh acha tujaribu hiki tu. So ili hapa tulipigwa picha na boy fulani na out of hizo picha zote moja ndio ilitoka fiti. So tukasema acha tu try hii picha tuweke kama profile kwa YouTube na to post to post to tony taenda aje mm-hmm. so hapo tukaanza youtube channel mchezo mm-hmm. ika pick after alinifanya hiv aids prank hapo mm-hmm. ndio boom akasema kwa na hiv eh hiyo ilikuwa your breakthrough video eh yes. how was it yes. ilikuwa sawa juu kwa shaka 3 weeks mm-hmm. tangu tufungue youtube napiga zinapata visibao tukiwa tunapata so bro 150 after 3 days So kupost hiyo content maoni hizi tunapata kama video me boom subscribers subscribers on me boom tiktok on me boom so tuko tunaingiza over 1000 a day mm. subscribers. subscribers from that time yes. mm. <laughs> that's a big eh? yeah na ika, ika mkaendelea aje sasa um, do, do you guys ever disagree because mko na channel alafu mnakumbuka ah tuko na channel acha turudiane tu because hiyo channel mnaitumia kama yetangwaje ile kitu inafanyanga watu wa kwetu pamoja 
atuje hadi fikiria like ile tunakosana na tunasema turudiane hiyo ya channel never mm. tukikosana tutakosana tu ya yeah, youtube ili come after after mm. yeah ingekuwa tulianza youtube before tuanze to date ingekuwa sawa muna muna pokeanga like negative criticism kutoka kwa ase yeah mm. kuna wenye obvious uki grow lazima kutakuwa na watu mm. but we know how to deal with No how to deal with them. Yes. Okay, mshakutana, mshapelekwa mm-hmm. ghetto kama kawaida na kijana wetu mdogo. Mm-hmm. Na how long did it take you from the day yenye mlikutana mm-hmm. na mndio mkaanza ku date? Mm, roughly 20 days. Do mm. that's that that's the day do Alicia ni text I love you. So sikumwambia anything. So nikam nikamkon kamwambia Hey, I love you too. Then ilifika point ni mwambie hivyo nilijua niko na feelings zake juu alipost dem fulani haka hide kila mtu akaaniacha aka mimi ni juu alikamkunyambia afterwards tume share date uh-huh. akamwambia oh okay so hapo ndio nijua oh, napendoki jana acha nimpe tu chance na ikakuwa hivyo ikakuwa hivyo <laughs> <laughs> na sasa so, mkaanza kuishi pamoja kabisa kabisa ama yeah situation ili happen i had some family issues mm-hmm. alafu yeye alikuwa shule akanikujia tukaanza kuishi pamoja tukaanza kutafutwa na CID moja mm-hmm. kutafutwa na CID kwani muliibia nani hata kuibia mtu actually my my mom ni journalist mkubwa mm-hmm. so that's why so when ali juni ilikuwa na issues tulikuwa na issue na step dad wangu mm-hmm. so i had to kutoka nyumbani nikaenda kwa best yangu mm-hmm. so wakaanza kutafuta mtoto walidhania nitarudi nyumbani but sikurudi so wakaanza okay. kunitafuta sile kwa ubaya mm-hmm. but ni ile nimepotea wanataka kujua mtoto wao kwa wapi oh. at long last wakaja tunaishi na yeye wakaacha jana mm-hmm. ulipelekwa mbio <laughs> eh hey, so unajua saa zote na ana receiving ana receive ma calls tu manze eh hey, makarao mm-hmm. ambapo mambo mtoke mjitokeze tunajua mali mko Siku so, ninapatia pressure mm. nafaa kwenda shule pia unacheki ukuogopa ukasema ah acha nirudishe mtoto wa wenyewe mm. at first niliogopa <laughs> but sasa nikamuliza tu nikamuliza what do you want mm. unaona akaniambia tu akaniambia tu like ana feel tu ako free unacheki mm. sawa na wewe okay, like yeah. mimi niko nataka peace mm. the place in niko yes i have everything but mm. sina peace of mind unaona so at least at least nilizo ya maisha ghetto nika mm. experience kitu kingine unaona mm. mm. Okay. Acha tuendelee. So uh, kuna time last year. Mm-hmm. Ni last tuko 2022 eh. Mm-hmm. Kuna time okay, mimi nimewazo ya kufanya couple stuff eh. Mnafanya mm-hmm. vitu kama couple pranks, mmeenda studio wapi, mmetembea, mnatokea content but kuna time hatujawaona mm-hmm. mkipost kabisa. I mean what happened? Yo 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 like ilikuwa mwezi wa 8 mpaka December tuja shoot vizuri. Mm-hmm. Hapo ilipata tuko na shida ya tumepoteza Airbnb tulikuwa tumefungua Airbnb at the same nini tulikuwa na ball yeah ah you are pregnant. yes i was pregnant so tulikuwa na stress bro stress. tulikuwa tuna do mm-hmm. kabisa tulienda chini nilikuwa nimetumwa picha fulani leo Mbona you guys are pregnant? Mm. Yeah. This is a screenshot, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, mm. like alikuwa na ball, unacheki. Mm. But watu walikuwa na doubt. Ati ah, amezikuwa na ball. open, alikuwa na post, ai tuna post my Instagram. Unacheki. Tuna chase cloud. Tuna chase cloud but ilikuwa serious. Yeah, ilikuwa serious honestly juu. Sawa. After tuka tuka lose BNB Yeah. tukalo zimto hii stress ika kwa mob hatuna hatuna mhm kabla tufike hapo kwa Airbnb eh mm-hmm. you are pregnant yes i mean na sasa mna mtoto what happened yani okay unapata tulikuwa na stress before mm-hmm. Izo stress ilikuwa na come to kwetu pressure mob tunafikiria vile tuta shoot content hapo pia tutapoteza camera na simu mm-hmm. unacheki lei tulikuwa tuna chochote kamera ilipotea kamera iliibiwa okay kitengela na hadi simu mm-hmm. unacheki so ilikuwa so hard to shoot content kini stress ya kwanza juu tutapata do yes tuko tuko na mtu yeye na kama hapo pia hiyo story na airbnb ilishaenda so yeah. tuna income mm-hmm. fit tu ni na flow mm-hmm. unacheki so unapata yeye pia kumbe alikuwa na complication unacheki hizo story na maalsas nini 
like akuwa na ana ana hizi hizo na tumbo inamsumbua so kuna dia akuwa anafanya workout kwa hao akaanza kuona kuna ma vitu zinamtoka machiki na ilikuwa ni damu damu so like akuwa anapanguza so minka minka bring you idea ya maybe naweza kuwa story na unafanya workout au fai kufanya relax tu so kumbe si hatu kujua kumbe kuna kuna mashida ziko hako nazo na cheki tukienda au si daktari akanini aka like aka scan kila kitu akasema tu wako sawa tu ni hizo vitu ndogo ndogo tu ndo zinamsumbua si tuka come home bro aiku maliza ta 2 weeks na cheki beki 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 akaenda nikane nda kudisaidia kwa kwa nini <laughs> Ali, alitoka nikane nda kudisaidia kwa lu una cheki aka aka feel tu madamu zinamwagika unaona mm. ile time tuna rush or see ilikuwa usiku ile time tuna rush or see tukafika huko kuangalia ayuko mto hii unacheki so ikabidi watu wamemosha kuosha hiyo mwili yake hizo 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 mabitu zilikuwa zinabaki zitoke mm-hmm. then after tena 2 weeks ilipatikana unacheki sasa after 2 weeks tumedhani hizo vitu zilikuwa zimoshwa ndani zote hazikutoka zote, zote kumbe bado kuna saa hizo usazi na mtoka kumbe hizo vitu zikuwa zimeka pale kwa tumbo zishaanza kum like infection zishaanza kumsumbua kwa ndani so every time akuwa na complain anasikia uchungu kwa nini tunachukua maji moto tunamwekea hapa chini unachiki tunamwekea hapo lakini ni zile vitu zikuwa zinatoka ni ndogo ndogo zina sa kenda kwa chuo anaweza ziona akifanya workout kiasi anaziona so kwenda kwa si tuli tulilipia it was almost 25000 kumosha like everything kwa sawa ju alikuwa eh tumia zile savings zenu sasa kwa yeah na hapo tulikuwa na ilikuwa hapo si unajua biashara imeharibika yeah. tuko na dea rent mm. kabidizo dondo tumeenda tukaosha nini tukaenda tukampeleka kaenda kasaidiwa Napo eni anaika tuna atuna mali tunaweza pata do. Una cheki. Okay. So ilikuwa too stress. Mm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for that but uh Becky ni kuinteresti kujua how did that affect your life wewe kama mwanamke? How did you feel? Bibaya sana. Like it was my worst experience ever ya 2021. Do ni ushijichukia ushika ukajichukia because i used to cry ki, karibu kila siku alafu hiyo baby fever ilikuwa ishaniingia mm. it was hard sana kwanza ku explain ya watu nini ili happen bla 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 it was hectic mm-hmm. yeah okay bro you have final remarks kimadizia okay mimi naweza sema ukiamka asubuhi jua kitu tunafanya like life unaishi sasa hii ni life uli fikiria before na cheki na senyo na enyo na fikiria sasa hii yenye utaishi in future so just be positive in life yeah kali sana kwa mimi jana mhm ya final max na alafu kwa hiyo tutamjambia wase kuhusu channel yenu channel yetu tutasema tu i'll say do you for you yes just do you Oh, I choose yake. Uh-huh. Choose. 20 million dollars ama yeye. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Bro, pesa uisha. Bro, 20 million. Pesa we, pesa uisha. 20 million. <laughs> Check you mzee. <laughs> Direct, wewe unachukua 20 million ama demo yako? 20 million. Huyu <laughs> namuelewa mbona na 20 million, bro. Bro, unachukua 20 million ama demo yako? 20 million. Siri tafute hiyo pesa pamoja. Okay, yeah. Hii itapatikana lini? <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh hey, you're the guy eh yeah. channel yeah just go subscribe to our mm-hmm. channel the the summer family mm-hmm. yeah the summer family subscribe yes mm-hmm. do you for you do you for you tunawapenda thank you so much tumekuwa tukipiga story na uh, jemo na beki the summer family mm-hmm. make sure guys you subscribe to their youtube channel na ukienda kule useme umetumwa na nani team kioko